Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to CCLP4. We are here on Bind Mender. And I just gotta say, this level, you're in for a treat. This level is really cool. Um, so this was made by Mi Katokula, and the whole concept of this level involves nails. And what's tricky about it is that there's a pattern here, and it looks like the pattern breaks right around here, uh, because you have to get this block... Oh, whoops, I already messed it up. You have to get that block across, but you have to approach... And my screen just went inactive. Okay. I hate it when that happens. By the way, um, I don't know if I mentioned getting the block and roll bold on my uh, one of my recent videos, but thankfully the screen did not go inactive there because, oh my goodness, I would have been super upset if that happened. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do this part. So what you have to figure out is that the pattern breaks right here. That spot right there does not have a thin wall as opposed to, like, everywhere else. So if you can figure out how to use that to your advantage, you can succeed. And I think all we have to do in this case is just do the obvious thing there. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is bring all the blocks down. Or, to the left. Alright. Which leaves us with, uh, these two. And I think what we have to do here is make a couple of trips around. You can do it in two trips, but I forget the solution. Um, oh wait, no. That was the second trip. <laughs> there we go. Now, alternatively, since we're playing an MS, you could put a block on, like, a force floor like this one, and then go around and then use slide delay to push the block over here into the uh, left area so that you don't have to do this whole thing over there that, that we were doing by shuffling them around. But uh, the intended solution is just so fun. So, overall, I'm just going to say this right now. This is absolutely one of my favorite levels in the set. Um, it's, it's such a neat concept. It's a great use of a tiny space uh, for another thing, and just a master class in design when it comes to puzzles. So, well done on, on a great design, Damika, there. Also, um, you'll notice that there are blocks in, uh, surrounding the boundaries of the level. Uh, those are Mika's signature. He likes putting blocks around stuff. So, Anyway, moving on to Wrong Exit. This is a Marcus O level, and it's basically the trust-me, fake-out level of the set. And basically, you have to figure out what the correct exit is. And uh, these ones over here are pretty uh, obvious as far as which ones are wrong. You can't get the blue key and make it through there. So, And none of those lead anything uh, good, so we'll just keep going. Don't want to hit that button over there, because we'll be trapped if we do. And this is also impossible to get to. We can't get to that... Uh, particular exits with the teeth in the way. But, we can grab that. And this allows us to go into this little ice maze here. Mm. Alright, so we can't do anything there. The Paramecia room looks like this is pretty much... Mm. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Ne neither is that. Let's hit this red lock. It's the only one we can really use and move forward with. Now you might think that this area over here, you could get to an exit on, but as far as I know, that's impossible. And this one, you just have to uh, realize that there's invisible walls in the maze there. Alright, so we got a little bit of glider dodging fun here. See, this would be the, the sort of level that I would have a lot of fun using the walls of for my own level. It's segmented, It's it's got different rooms as far as uh, the content goes um, and the shapes and the template goes yeah, and this is just a matter of going down there and heading into the exit so really really fun level I, I like that one a lot okay moving on to quite a beast of a level here and this is mindless self-indulgence and this is a Tyler level you can probably tell by the Sokoban at the beginning he sure loves putting these in 
Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this one, though. I think you have to do something like that, and then move this over here, and then get these like that. There we go. So you'll notice here that we've got a couple of different sets of trap buttons. One of them starts down here, and the other one actually starts up there. So we're going to have to redo the puzzle after we switch the toggle walls, which we can apparently do via that. But we don't want to go in there ourselves, so we're going to have to use this block. There's also a clone button here, which would probably be connected to that ball cloner. And we can clone something else by doing that, which is probably this. Yep, it is certainly that. Alright, so we don't want to clone all three, at least not yet, because we need to go through there. Alright, so now we can hit that right there. Okay, so now the, the toggles are switched, so actually while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and press this a third time, because I happen to know we are going to need three tanks. Alright, so the first thing we need to do on this Sokoban is go like so and then we'll just put these here like that we can also look into this room but uh, we don't really have anything there yet to do because we're gonna need to put the blocks in the water and I wanted to make sure we use them for this purpose first so we'll do that alright let's head down this way alright so with this we can get a little bit of a better view it looks like we're gonna need to guide a fireball to the tank button Alright, and once it does go into the tank button, we can open the door, because it'll be safe. At least it would in Lynx. I, I guess in MS it doesn't really matter, but uh, I don't want to cheat, so you know how it is. Alright, so I think what we need to do here is we need to get this one in. And we need to use this guy right there. Oh, wait! No, it was supposed to be the other way around. Ah! I had that all jumbled up in my head. That was totally wrong. Okay, let's start over. So I just finished designing three more levels today, and uh, I'm getting a little worried that some of these may be a little hard. And it's that classic case of designer disconnect, you know? Like, you don't really know when your level gets to be a little bit too much for some people. But, I don't know, I am designing the levels for a more seasoned audience anyway, so um, I'm hoping that's not too big of a deal. I think the levels are fair, like there's nothing un particularly unfair about them. It's more just the, the fact that they're really hard. But, I don't think there's anything wrong with being hard as long as you're reasonable about it, so. Okay. Hit that button, go over here. All right, let's try this again. Okay, first let's put that in there. All right, we won't make the same mistake. We need to go there and then do that. There we go. Now we can clone the fireball. All right, so with that done, we can open that and release all the tanks up here. Alright, so what did that do? Well, at the very least, the trap buttons will be held down, since now there's something to block the balls from going into the water, so that's nice. Okay, we can let this glider out here. But the glider actually does not go into the stream, because it's blocked by the paramecia. So if we're going to use that glider, we've got to find a way to um, disrupt those paramecia. Alright, so we can go down here get these. Teeth go from bottom to top. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. Alright, so we're going to need to use that block there for something. Maybe the block can do that. Uh, the paramecium disruption for us. We'll see. Take another trip around. Thankfully, you won't get hit by the glider as long as you stay in the Paramecia area. 
So with this block, we can go through the teleport at least. So there's that, I guess. Don't have to worry about any more tanks cloning. And we can use the green door here, which seems to indicate that uh, moving the block through here is something we want to do. Um... Tell you what, why don't we open the toggles again? That way, we have more space. There we go. Alright, so now the glider is going to come down here. So, where does it go? It's going to go somewhere there. And it cloned something, or at least that's the only way that sound could have been made. And I guess this is what the hint was referring to, by teeth go from bottom to top. Okay, so now it's... Oh, I see, it cloned the blocks there. And so now it's going to hit the toggle button in there. Well, that's useful. Alright, so what do we do with that? Well, we haven't explored this section yet. And you'll notice over here that we've got this section with um, these toggle... Uh, doors going here and what this is supposed to be is that this is supposed to be an area for the teeth to go through so that it could blow up the bomb for us and we have to be very careful about how we uh, get the teeth through that so let's start so as long as we stay in line with the teeth while it's here and then in line with the teeth once it gets up there mm. Okay, good. That is probably the most nerve-wracking part of the level, but we made it past that. And now we can get flippers! Yay! And we've got access to more blocks, thanks to these clone machines, which are cool. I guess we could use those to get up there. That's always nice, right? Things are moving along, which is always a good feeling. I'm going to go this way and just push a block over that way. We'll, we'll try that. There we are. Let's keep it up. Alright. One more and we're good to go. And there's a bug circling. And another bug. No matter though, we made it to the exit. Alright. That was a really fun level. It's by Tyler and it's it's such a nice set of puzzles. Like, I just love the way they all come together and interact with each other. That's a skill I'm trying to develop more because, honestly, I'm really bad at the whole interlocking puzzles thing. So, anyway, moving on to Undefined Fantastic Object. This is a uh, Jeffrey level. And this one, funny story, this one actually took me a very long time to figure out on my own. I don't know why, because it's not that hard, really. But for some reason, this one really tripped me up. So let's see. We need to get the... Uh, I've probably already messed this up, haven't I? Yeah, okay. Let's be a little smarter here. Um, first of all, there's a key under there, which you may not uh, immediately pick up on. But that should all... Oh, no, we can't go down there, can we? So we can't use that block. Uh, so let's see, we would go there, 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 there. Yeah, so you can make it. Mm. There we go. Okay, that was my mistake. I went the wrong way coming in that direction. Because I didn't get the key first. Alright. So with that done, let's see what we got here. We've got this door. Do we want to use that door, though? And we can still head over there. Now we've got the... Uh, the red key, which is nice. Mm, mm, mm. And I totally misstepped that. Try again. Mm, mm. The shape of this level and the way it looks is really neat. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, we get the fire boots, right? There we go. That's what I meant to do. All right, so what you're supposed to figure out here is that you need to use this bug in conjunction with the block to make it back. 
which is the thing that took me the longest to figure out. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say. So once you do this, you can then slip back through there. And now we just need to use this uh, block in conjunction with these bugs and do the same thing. Which thankfully is not too difficult. We just let them go their merry way. And then we press this, or push this over there. We also get the green key, because we need that for the ending. And we slip over. It's such a cool concept as far as like how it comes together. And that's what I love about it the most. Alright, now time for a really neat uh, level as far as ideas are concerned. This level is called Bamthwok. Never allow the tank to be switched. Every block adjacent to a blue button has a blue button underneath. Alright, this is a level by Tyler. And um, this, I gotta say... I feel like I thought of this idea, but not in this way. Like, if that makes any sense. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. I need to get the red key, because that's what's over here. That's what the level is trying to tell you by you going over here for the yellow key. Like... I love this idea so much. Like, I can't believe it's been, it hasn't been done before, but basically you have to make sure that you're always pushing a block when traveling along these blue buttons. And the way it comes together is so cool. Like I I just love it. Like the way you actually have to zigzag through here like this cuz there's no other way to do it. You have to turn the block at these points where there are no blue buttons cuz you're not pushing the block at those points. And little things like this here with the boots, like those are clearly traps, so you can't get to those, and so are the keys, at least at this point. Alright, let's push that, and then go back. Alright, um, we don't really know if we need this again, probably not, but in case I'll just put it there. Alright, so now we can go through here, and it looks like we're going to need to navigate this block down and to the right. So let's do that. Oh, we got a little bit of a limited uh, pass mechanism, I see. So we're going to have to make the uh, most of all of our trips here. It's an interesting idea. Alright, that takes care of the ball, so we don't have to worry about the ball anymore, at least. Okay, and now we go over here, and we go one more time through this uh, clone machine area. Alright. So it looks like we can go up and down using the block over there. That's good to know. There's also a bunch of boots down there. We don't really need to read the hints, so there's no point in going to those unless it's for those keys. Alright, so going down through here would be bad, because we don't actually have a, uh, a way out of that. Alright, we can, however, push the toggle button again and open up the path further for the ball. And this allows us to get all those keys up there, so that's good news. And we need to come back here, apparently, with some fire boots, so... I guess our only option is to go back, right? Alright. And then go down. I believe there are fire boots here. Ah! I mistimed that. I just realized it as I did it. I, ugh. I'm bad at casually playing levels. <laughs> I'm, I, that sounds weird, but it, it's true. So we know we can at least use one of our yellow keys up here to get these fire boots, so that's good to know. I guess we can look at some of the uh, other things we could be doing here uh, as we uh, progress through the level. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there because I don't think we're going to need it anymore. Okay, and then we'll head there.
As repetitive as this, as this part is, it's not really that bad. Like, there's only four passes through it, so... Alright, we didn't look over here. Let's see if we can get skates over there, and that will be useful mm -hmm. as far as making it past that. Because there's a thief over here, so we want to be mindful of that. We also need to find a way to get up there with fire boots, presumably, which you can see there now. Okay, let's time this correctly this time. There we go. Okay. I'm going to leave a few boots in case we need them for something. I doubt it, but just in case. Um, so that allows us to just to get back. We, we lose the fire boots right here, unfortunately. But, never fear, we're about to get more fire boots up uh, this way. So let's go here, like so. Okay. Still haven't used the red and blue keys yet. We did use the green one right there. But now we have fire boots, and this will allow us to go back over here. So let's see what we've got up here. We've got suction boots. Well, that should be useful as far as the getting back part is concerned. And it looks like we need to navigate this block down. Well, I can see why. we got to put it down there at a partial post, huh? Alright. Um, I think the way to do that is by opening this door, is it? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. It's this door. Where do you use the blue key, though? Oh, over here, so you can turn it around. Okay. Just want to make sure I do it correctly so I don't have another incident like we had earlier with the mindless self-indulgence. Okay. So we can go out here. And so now we're going to have the boots taken away from us, but that's okay. Okay, so now, with that, we can go in here and grab the skates. And go back. And with this, we can now turn it around here and go left toward this area. Alright, so from here, we got to go this way. There's no way around that. We have to go this way. And we have to go this way. Okay, I'm just following what appears to be the only way to go. The way you have to weave in and out of that is pretty cool. I like the way that all came together. Don't really need those boots, nor can we really get them without consequence. Now, alternatively, I guess you could go back at this point, but why would you want to do that when there's an exit right there, right? Alright, so moving on to Jigsaw. So I promised last time that we would see a follow-up to Jig C, and now we have it. This is Jig Saw, which is the level um, that completely jumbles up the components of Jig C. And I'm just going to say right now, this idea is so genius. So what Andrew did, and this is by Andrew Menzies, um, is he took three by three pieces of Jig C, not counting the thin walls in the upper right, and then he completely jumbled them all up such that they formed a level that actually worked uh, and provided a, cha a challenge. And the fact that it, it worked as well as it did is amazing. Like, I cannot say I've ever seen a level that achieves what these two levels achieve. So, way to go, Andrew, on that. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up the path here. Do you see which block has the chip? I believe it's one of these ones. I think it's that one, actually. Thankfully, the hint is not too far away from that. So, there's actually a little item swapping going on here, much like the original level. And you have to figure out first um, 
how to get all the keys. And you can't get the green key, actually, until you're... Uh, Let's go through here, actually. Push that there for now. Can't get the green key um, until you hold down all the traps, which is a little tricky. And this is a clone, uh, block cloner. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, we have a blue key, and I believe we can use that down here. Yes, and we can use this to get some fire boots, which are definitely something we can use. All right, so this uh, trap button we need to hold down with this block here. The good news is the traps are all together, uh, despite the level being jumbled up, so that definitely helps. Okay, we need to hold down that button over there with another block. We have a block over here, don't we? I figured this would be an interesting um, level to put in the totally unfair 131 slot. Just because it completely messes up something that you thought earlier. So I figured in that way it referenced the original totally fair. So I thought that was kind of cool. Mm. Alright, and we need a bridge to that one there so we can get the tanks to switch. Which we can do with this. Alright, and if... If I'm not mistaken, that's all of the buttons held down. There's those two. There's the one over here by the bombs. And I forget where the fourth one is. Maybe we haven't held that one down yet. Oh, we can go up here now. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. And we can use this block up here. I'm not sure if the block cloner was... The cloner from the original level, because I don't I think that was on the edge of the level, so I think that may have been a block that's repurposed as a cloner. Alright, but with that, we can now go into this area. Which um I guess we should have waited to on the tanks until we did that, but oh well. Okay. Oh, and I needed to get those. Whoops. Oh well, we got the green key, and that's what uh, the main thing that matters here. So let's just keep getting everything. This is uh, the only um, big obstacle here is the water. Oh wait, we can just use this. Never mind. Um, and this should clone blocks for us. There we go. Yeah, I know that wouldn't have been good in links, but oh well deal with it. Okay, so we can start pushing blocks around, which is good, because we're going to need a few down here. And there's the block under, or the chip under the block. Okay, getting there. 12 to go. Um, actually, while we're at it, let me just make sure... Uh, we need to get the, uh, actually, we could use the block right here, can't we? We could use that to blow up that bomb. We need to get a block up here to go onto the force floor nail area. And apparently these can be used only on this row. So this goes up this way. And this is where the exit is, too. So we just need to clone one more block and all should be okay. So we're going to find more blocks um, that are not clonable. I think we had a few down here, didn't we? Wasn't there a few behind green? Yeah, here we go. Thankfully the level is pretty generous about giving you blocks, which is a big relief because I'd hate for this level to be super stingy about that. Okay, um, this should be the column. Yep, it is here. All right, so with the green, or the yellow lock, first of all, I'm going to go this way and get the remainder of those chips. Oh, I forgot I took the, I took the thing off of the thing. I'm an idiot. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. Did I just do that? Well, back to the drawing board with this one, I guess. 
I'm going to have to stop recording here pretty soon. Ooh, that's quite a pickle. Well, hopefully we can get done in the next six minutes. Let's try to hope for the best here. And you know what? I don't care about quote-unquote cheating in links or cheating like I just did right there. I'm going to make sure we get this level done. All right. Let's go ahead and hold this one down. Put that there. This level is also really interesting to optimize, too. I... This is one of the levels I'm still not sure I have an optimal time on, just because... I forgot about the fire boots. Uh, just because it's um, it's very all over the place. I mean, you could easily try all sorts of things in a lot of orders, but the way I use the blocks, I feel like it's good. I, I think it's pretty sound overall, so... I'm hoping that's a good sign. All right, come on, we're almost there. I can taste it. I can taste feeling close to completion. Might as well go ahead and start bringing this guy up. I think this is the one I used over here, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll worry about that one later. Okay, so this goes here. We get the blue key, we get the fire boots first, then we do the block over there. Okay. So I wanted to talk about something that's very trivial and it doesn't really matter that much, but I'm passionate about it, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna kind of rant about it here. And that is I'm kind of a little bit perplexed as to why some people hate north and west thin walls in these levels. Yeah, I know. Totally important topic, right? But seriously, like I, I've seen this weird aversion to north and west thin walls. It, it's really strange. And I, I think it's sad because I, I like north and west thin walls. I think they actually make the levels really interesting. And I'm saying that as someone who um, was addicted to, to designing for pedantic links back in the day. And um, in that game mode, there are no north and west thin walls, so you can't really use them. But personally, right now, like, I, like that was the only reason why I didn't use them. I wanted them, the levels to be compatible with Pedantic Links. I'm talking about people who say that it's aesthetically bad to have north and west thin walls in a level. I don't see the reason behind it. Like, I, I guess I'm just not, maybe I'm blind or something, but I, I guess I'm just not seeing what's so bad about them. Like, I've been kind of using them with reckless abandon in the new levels I've been designing, and it's been fun to be free to use them just because I've been limiting myself with the pedantic rules so long ago that uh, I, I stopped using them for so long. All right, I don't really have any need to go back through the trap, so I'll go ahead and do that, as well as this. All right. So we just need to get a block up to the yellow key thingy. Let's bring out one of our blocks from over... Oh, come on, where is it? It's over here, isn't it? So yeah, rant's uh, mostly over. I, I I don't get it. it, it I think they're fine. I, I know that they kind of stick out a little bit more, and maybe that's what the issue is. But, I mean, so what? I think that could be aesthetically interesting if you make it interesting. I don't see what the big deal is. I, I don't know. It's... I've always been puzzled by it. All right, so we're almost... Oh, wait. Actually, while we're here, we need to clone another block. And we can use this opportunity to drop down into this area. Okay. I guess you could have gotten the chips that way as well by using the blocks there. So you didn't have to go back through the, uh, the traps again to get those, which is nice. One thing I need to learn more of is not being so strict when it comes to making levels. Okay, and apparently I'm missing a chip somewhere. That's not good. It's not the one under the block, is it? Uh-oh. Hopefully I didn't do something that's irreversible. 
No, it's not the one under the block. I already moved that block. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing over here. Is it down here somewhere? No. Where is this? It's not under a block, so it's got to be visible, right? Because there's only one with a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know where it is. It's the one right by the tank over here. Oh, I did have it in the right configuration. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. I don't care that the tank's in that orientation. I'm going to grab that ship. All right, guys. We are done with Jigsaw, and next time we're going to move on to Monorail. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you on the flip side.